Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to sum multiple values provided in a single cell uh, with respect to different scenarios. And I will compare this Google Sheet solutions to Microsoft Excel desktop version as well. So let's get started. The first scenario we have is to sum weekly sales units excluding the delimiter. So as you can see in the first scenario, uh, we have uh, multiple values inside one cell uh, which is being separated by a comma as a delimiter so to sum the total units we will not do it manually like 3 to 1 plus 45 plus right so how are we gonna get the solution so we will be adding some function in the Google Sheets then we will nest with split function so the first argument is text so we define the cell address comma the delimiter which we have identified let's put it within the quotation marks that is comma and let's close the bracket so we got the total which is 675 and you can copy and paste the solution so this is the very basic first scenario where you have uh, a one delimiter as comma and multiple values inside cell to get the sum right now the next part is a bit complex we have multiple delimiters as you can observe uh, we have dot as a delimiter somewhere we have comma and dot as a delimiter so that is being already solved when you have multiple delimiters you can enclose with curly brackets provided uh, within the quotation marks and identify all those uh, delimiters inside the cell can be possible uh, so that can be also a similar solution you have to add sum and a split function and for the multiple delimiters you have to put the curly brackets and you will get the sum now let's talk about another practical scenario let's say I have a data here serial number days date then lecture delivered and then lecture duration so there are more than one entry inside one cell let's say a teacher has delivered a two different lectures of different minutes and we want to get the total so we will not be doing manually like 60 plus 38 and for all of the, those other records separately that will a time consuming and not a good approach so how to get the solution inside Google Sheets for this kind of a scenario so we will use sum then we will nest split locate the cell address and in the delimiter we will we have identified the common thing which we needs to get rid of so that is a space min which is minutes and uh, quotation mark close the bracket and just copy and paste that so we got the total uh, of multiple values inside a single cell by using sum and split okay now when you copy and paste below the other two cells which were not have a value just a holiday and you get the value error so you can nest another function and that is if error function okay so what you can do if the error occurs it will leave it as blank close the bracket and copy and paste the logic right so this is how it's easy to get the sum of multiple values inside one cell based on sum and a split combination now how and once you created the solution uh, you can also add more numbers to it let's say if I press alt enter to have a new line and let's say if I say 100 minute so you can see it's being updated as well and it's working very fine and if I add one more line here let's say 12 minutes or one more line here 50 minutes so you can see it's being updating right inside Excel version that is for the Google Sheets let's get into the Excel alright so as you can see my Excel screen now and we have the similar kind of situation here so we have multiple values inside a single cell so if you are using Excel 365 you can use text split function now how are we gonna do that we will use sum two hyphen signs then text is split locate the cell address and then 
add a column delimiter which is a comma in this case and close the bracket so see how easy it is to get the sum of different values inside a single cell through x split and sum function if you have uh, a multiple delimiters uh, and multiple numbers to get sum again you can use curly brackets and define the multiple delimiters within the quotation marks okay this will work uh, fine for you and if we talk about the uh, this particular solution as solve in google sheets so if the similar kind of a situation in excel so you can see the solution uh, here now let me explain you how we uh, have created this logic okay so if you see the cell which is e3 uh, that has a two numbers we need to get the sum of these two numbers we need to exclude space min and also if you observe uh, the the next number has been written in the next line which is the uh, line break technically and the line break character is 10 inside excel so now if i solve this step by step so i can use substitute function and i want that um, i need to exclude a space minimum from the cell and i will add nothing in the new text so let's see what happens so I, I got 6038 uh, in a new cell. Now I don't want 6038, I want a space uh, as well. So I will add a space here. So I got 6038, right? Now I want to add the 6038, but let me check the length of the cell. So with our, is the first value, zero is the second, space is the third, three, four, eight, five. So the length of this cell should be five. So let's see if the len function return 5 or any other number but it's returning 7 because uh, in this particular cell there is a character of a line break is there and also an unnecessary space is also there so we need to get rid of that as well so what i will do is i have created i have got the 60 or 38 from the cell but i need to get rid of uh, the line break as well so i will add another substitute function i will nest this and I will say all text is character 10 this will uh, generate a line break okay and we need to substitute with uh, nothing which is uh, in the new text view will just put quotation marks two times and close the bracket now if we check the len that is 6 previously it was 7 now it's 6 now still we want the length as 5 because we need to get rid of unnecessary spaces so we will nest trim function at the very beginning and close the bracket so now it's absolutely right now what we need is to add the 60 and 38 so technically we will be using sum function open bracket then adding text split function k and in the column delimiter we will add space close the bracket so it gives us 98 right and if i copy and paste this logic so here we have no values or either holiday so we can uh, nest with the if error and if error occurs give us blank and close the bracket so see in excel 365 you can do this and i'm not limited to this particular solution there could be many possible ways if you just do brainstorming and if you are watching this video on linkedin facebook youtube you can comment below with your possible solutions thank you